In this question, we are going to reduce this rational expression. We have 81 minus x squared over x squared minus 3x minus 54. As we can see on the top right here, this is not so good, right? Because this is out of order, because we want to have the x squared goes first, right? And this is what we can do to take care of this kind of situation. We have 81 minus x squared. It's a subtraction situation, right? Yes, we can just switch the order, and let me put this down first as x squared and then minus 81. We can do something like this, as long as we put a parenthesis and a negative in the front. We are just negating the result after we switch the order of the subtraction. And we can do a quick check. If you distribute a negative inside, you see negative x squared, that's the original, Negative times negative 81, that's the positive 81, which is still the original, right? So this is what you have to do. Whenever you are subtracting things that's out of order, just switch it to the order that you would like, and be sure you put a parenthesis and negate the result. And then we can go ahead and factor this out. Be sure you still have this negative in front though. So we have negative, and this is x squared minus 9 squared difference of two squares. So we are going to get x minus 9 times x plus 9, right? And now we are going to factor out this denominator. And we have x squared, this is 1, so that's good because we know we are going to have x times x. And now what times 4 give us negative 54, and together they add up to negative 3. The correct combination is negative 9, positive 6 and the order on how to put them down doesn't matter. And now we see that the x minus 9 is a common factor on the top and on the bottom, right? And we can cancel them out. This is what we do to reduce the rational expression. At the end, you can see that we have a negative times the parentheses on that, and be sure you have this negative, and be sure you have that parentheses around it, x plus 9, like this over the bottom x plus 6. And you can see that for the denominator here, we only have one factor left, so I don't need to put down the parentheses if I don't want to. However, for this factor, we do have something else, the negative in front, so we must have this negative right here. This is one way to write the answer down. Well, sometimes we like to have the negative in the front, so we can also write this as negative, and then the denominator states x plus 6. And when we bring the negative to the front like this, on the top, we are just going to have x plus 9. You don't need to put down this you don't need to put down this parenthesis. It becomes invisible, okay? But you really have to remember there is that invisible parenthesis. This and that means the same. And this is how I would like to present the answer to you guys. Okay, so be careful with how you are going to write down this negative. This is okay, this is okay. If you have negative x plus 9 like this over x plus 6, like that, this is not the same as either one of these.